guys, it's Brittany and welcome to my Q&A. I decided to do this one in the closet. I don't even know which number this is. Didn't I do 10 Q&As? Like I left off at number 10, I'm pretty sure. So this is probably my 11th one. So it's really crazy to start doing these again. But I decided I'm just going to do them very randomly. Maybe once every two months, every three months. So they're just gonna come out really randomly and I will tell you guys when I'm doing one. So then if you wanna ask or send me your questions with the hashtag AskBritty44 and then yeah. So this one, we're gonna get right on into it. <laughs> so kinda awkward just with my candle and then my phone right here. So every question is picked at random. I'm just going through like a whole list right now on my YouTube channel. So here we go. Do you think any ghosts have come back with you? If so, who? Other than the one in the basement. Well, the one in the basement, I mean, I don't feel that way anymore. I still feel weird like down here sometimes, but I'm not how I was. And that was like, what, two years ago? I really thought that that really bad spirit from the Colonial Park Cemetery came back and like followed me home. It was really scary because weird stuff was happening and I did that spirit box session down here. Something said hi to me, but it's been okay. Like, I'm actually okay, so I don't know. That's like the only thing if a ghost did follow me home. Are you going to make another video of you going to a graveyard and talking to spirits through your spirit box? By the way, love you so much and love you and love your videos. Thank you so much. Um, Yes, I want to go to more cemeteries and stuff. I really am trying to get inside like houses and buildings and that's kind of what I'm trying to do. It's really hard to get into places. I will like, it's a long story. It's really hard to get into places. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> Which one of your videos make you scared when you watch them? You know, it's actually kind of funny that you asked me this because I was watching my Cecil Hotel video the other night and I don't know what it was. I think it was just the music in the video. The music was just really getting to me because you know I have really creepy background music. It was so scary. <laughs> and I was getting goosebumps. I was kind of looking around. I mean, the story at the Cecil Hotel is really terrifying, but it was like the music in my video mixed with what I was saying to you guys. I don't know. It really freaked me out. So I'm just like sitting in my bed like, whoa. <laughs> It was really creepy. Can you play the midnight game? Oh, you know what? I really do want to play this game. It actually really legit terrifies me, but I uh, will see. We'll see. I know you guys want me to play this so badly. <laughs> what is your biggest fear and why? My biggest fear is dying young from like cancer, being murdered, just anything. Dying young. It freaks me out. I have so much to live for and I want to live a long happy healthy life I want to live till I'm like a hundred years old so dying young definitely really freaks me out and spiders I have this awful fear of spiders like tarantulas oh my god I have nightmares about them a lot <laughs> it's really bad why is your name Brittany 44 why 44 well you know I started my YouTube channel when I was 16 years old so back in 2006 and I remember like it was yesterday typing in my username I just I don't know in high school people called me Brady people still do call me Brady not as much but I mean you guys call me Brady but um yeah that was kind of my nickname in high school so I just kind of you know YouTube was just kind of new at the time I think it came out in 2005 and then I was always filming videos I used to film videos for Facebook like I would make little skits with uh, my cousin Lauren and like Harry Potter skits it's really funny I was always Draco Malfoy it was it was really funny and we used to upload to Facebook and then we found out about YouTube so I started uploading those kind of videos to YouTube and I just typed in Brady with two eyes and then I don't know I was thinking about a number my favorite number is four but I didn't like how it said Brady four so I put Brady 44 because I had two Y's and so I wanted two fours so yeah I wasn't it wasn't meant to be a name that kind of sticks I never thought I would have a YouTube channel that has gone as far as it has which is amazing so that's kind of why if I was gonna change my name I would go by Brady Crab on YouTube but Brady 44 it's always gonna be there <laughs> What is your favorite thing about doing scary videos? I just, I love YouTube. I love filming stuff. I love, my passion is just, I love the paranormal so much and I just love sharing it with you guys and just talking about these really creepy things and actually going out to places and stuff. It's just my passion. I just, my favorite thing is just, I don't know, it's everything and it's a dream. Like what I'm doing is just, it's a huge dream to me. Like I. 
the other day I was just kind of like whoa I can't believe like this is happening it was just it's so crazy I just I love YouTube so much and I'm not going anywhere because a lot of people are like oh my god are you ever gonna quit YouTube and no I'm never gonna quit YouTube but it's just I have so much fun interacting with you guys on my social media and you know YouTube of course in the comments I love listening to your feedback and you know just hearing how excited you guys get about me uploading it's just everything I can't just pick one thing I love everything it's just really great can you collab with Shane Dawson <laughs> everyone keeps asking me lately to collab with Shane Dawson um that would be so cool but I doubt Shane would ever collab with me but uh, that would be really that would be really cool so Shane if you're watching which I doubt but if you are hey <laughs> if you could be any Sailor Moon or Walking Dead character who would you be also do you believe in possession if I was in Sailor Moon, I would definitely be Sailor Moon because I love Sailor Moon. If I was in The Walking Dead, I would be Rick Grimes. <laughs> and do I believe in possession? Yes. I, yes, strongly believe in possession. I think it's really scary. It actually freaks me out that I'm going to be possessed one day. But I um, mean, yeah, I definitely believe in possession. I think it's very terrifying. The stories you hear, it's just, whew, it's scary. Who's your favorite character from Sailor Moon? So I kind of just answered that. Favorite character is Sailor Moon, and I love Sailor Jupiter as well. <laughs> Hey girl, hey, hey, my question is, what do you do in your spare time aside from YouTube? You know what? I, my whole life is YouTube. It's basically all I ever do. Um, I mean, it's, it's my job. It's what I, it's what I do all the time and I just have so much fun doing it. So in my spare time, you know, I'll watch movies, TV shows, I'll go out and eat, um, hang out with people, go shopping. I just kind of do regular things. I don't really... I'm kind of boring, actually. <laughs> I just, like, my whole life is my channel and, like, making videos for you guys. So it's pretty much all I ever do is all I think about. It's all I, like, research and stuff. So it's, it's pretty much it. <laughs> Will you do a spirit box session with Bloody Mary? <laughs> That would be super cool. That would be very different, but she doesn't want to come out and see me in the mirror So I doubt she'd want to do a spirit box session with me. How you reacted that Britney Spears was your friend. You know each other? Uh, <laughs> I don't know Britney Spears. Um, what? <laughs> I don't know her. I wish I did. I mean like I'll joke around saying she's my sister but She's not my sister guys. Like she's not my sister. Obviously her sister's Jamie Lynn Spears, not me <laughs> I don't know Britney Spears. I'm sorry. <laughs> Do you like cats or dogs better? I'm a dog person. I love dogs I have two dogs two Shih Tzus Daisy and Bentley. So I'm definitely a dog person <laughs> What's your favorite Harry Potter movie? I love all the movies, but if I had to choose I love Half-Blood Prince of course and I love Goblet of Fire and Prisoner of Azkaban I love them all but I guess those are my top three who is your favorite singer someone other than Michael Jackson Michael Jackson is my number one so uh, Britney Spears Britney Spears is number two I know that sounds so bad they're my two favorites but Michael has always been my favorite my absolute favorite and I hate to say Britney Spears is second that sounds so bad you never want to be second in like anything you know what I mean so Michael and Britney are my two faves did you dream about the lady with black hair? No, I didn't, unfortunately. I was really hoping that I would because that would be really cool to tell you guys in a video. What is the scariest paranormal game that you've ever done? Definitely, I mean, my favorite is the hosting game, but I would say the scariest is the one man hide and seek or hide and seek alone, that's what I like to call it. That was definitely freaky. That was something totally new when I was playing it. I'm just like, whoa, this is so weird. It was really freaky. So that was probably the scariest. Do you want to someday dye your hair? I think purple would look good on you. Thank you. I really want to go pink again, but I also really want to go blue, like a really nice vivid blue. <laughs> Why do you not notice me? That's from Sir Simony. I just noticed you. Hey. <laughs> do you like pandas? Yes, of course. I love pandas so much. I call my dog Daisy a panda because she's black and white. I always call her my little panda bear. <laughs> have you ever had demonic activity in your home? No, I have not. And I hope I never do. Are you attending any VidCons or fan fests anytime soon? You know, I was recently i was thinking about going to playlist live in orlando i think it's like april 23rd to the 25th it's it's near the end of the month i don't know i mean tickets are running out and stuff it's kind of last minute but i don't know is anyone going to playlist live in orlando florida in april let me know <laughs> do you believe in reincarnation that's a good question i do sometimes i feel like you know maybe our fears 
that we have in this life go back to our fears or how we died in a previous life. I don't know. <laughs> I know that sounds weird. Like, I am so scared of spiders. So I don't know if I was eaten by a spider. I don't know. It's really weird. Like a giant spider. I don't know. A camel spider or whatever. I don't know. Whatever they're called. Those like giant spiders. Do you ever get that feeling that someone is watching you? Yes. All the time. I constantly feel like somebody's watching me. It's really crazy. What do you think of the other Hogwarts houses? Ravenclaw, Hufflepuff, and Gryffindor. <laughs> I think they're great, you know, they're they're not my cup of tea, but um they're cool. They're cool. I'm not hating, but they're cool. <laughs> have you ever heard of the YouTuber Lupus Creepus? Yes, I have. I'm subscribed to him and he is really cool. I really enjoy his videos. How do you stay so positive? Also, I have been subscribed to you since 5,000 subscribers. That is so amazing. Thank you so much. I remember hitting 5,000 like it was yesterday. It's, it's crazy. How do I stay so positive? You know what? It's just, I used to never be this positive before. I used to be, have a very low self-esteem, always have my head down, not talking to anybody, hiding from people all the time. And just one day, cause I had an awful time in school with bullies and crap. Like it was just so bad. And they've really like killed my self-esteem back then. I just kind of woke up one day and just said, you know, like, why am I letting them take my life away basically because that's what I was doing and I just kind of said you know I like who I am I'm proud of who I am yes I, I'm, I am a very positive person but of course I do have my insecurities everybody has insecurities I'm not perfect but I just live my life how I want to live it and I don't care what people think I do whatever I want and I have fun I am a psychopath and I embrace my psychoness, I, you know, I just, I don't care because I do what I want. Like, I, I just, I don't care if people are gonna be mean to me or say something. It's just, life is too short to care what people think and to let them, let their opinions affect the way you feel about yourself because, like, worry about yourself. Like, that's what I feel like saying to these people. Like, worry about yourself. Why are you so concerned about me? I'm just living my life and having fun and once you have that confidence and you just have fun in your life and you just live life to the fullest every single day not having a care in the world what people think about you and you're your and you are your true self and you're just doing what you love and you just you know acting like yourself and just putting yourself out there and you know what I mean I just it's just how I stay positive I just don't care I have fun and life is too short and I want to live my life you know I lived so long being so shy and you know constantly worrying what this person thinks what that person thinks and that's not the way to live it's not the way to live at all and since I started having this mindset and just being my normal crazy self and doing what I want I've been so much happier so much more confident and I just do whatever I want so yeah who is your favorite character out of the Frozen movie I would say Elsa Elsa definitely what's your favorite song from MJ mine is smooth criminal and Billie Jean that is awesome I love smooth criminal and Billie Jean my absolute favorite is blood on the dance floor and who is it who is your favorite Harry Potter character besides Tom Riddle my favorite besides Tom Riddle is Draco Malfoy which is pretty like obvious <laughs> I am Draco Malfoy um, yeah, I'm like the girl version of Draco Malfoy, but definitely, yeah, Tom Riddle and Draco Malfoy are my favorites. And I actually met Draco back in the summer, like Tom Felton. Oh my god, it was so embarrassing. I was like, you're my favorite character, and I was like calling him Draco, and he's just like, thanks. <laughs> and I was decked out in Slytherin gear. Oh my god. <laughs> so he's probably looking at me like, this girl is crazy. But I got a picture with him, it's on my Instagram. But uh, he was nice, but I think he thought I was like, kind of crazy because I'm just like, you're my favorite character. Bye, Draco. Oh my God. And he was like, bye. <laughs> but it was so cool. Like I freaked out. I couldn't believe I was about to meet Draco Malfoy. Like what the heck? I could not believe it. I also met um, Ron Weasley, so Rupert Grint, and it was just, it was so crazy. So crazy. Is it all right that I've been using the hashtag brotherins? Hi. <laughs> Even though it's just hashtag brotherins. <laughs> Yeah, that's fine. I mean, people are like, what does the hey mean? It just kind of means like, hey, like, woo woo, you're a part of the Brother Ren family, you know? Hashtag Brother Ren's hey, like, hey, like, you know, hey. <laughs> it's just what I say. I don't know. I'm weird. 
but yeah, you can use that. That's fine. Can you please do a meetup in Toronto? You are my favorite YouTuber and I idolize you. I'd love to meet you. Well, thank you so much, Tessa. That is so sweet of you. I would love to do a meetup in Toronto. I would love to do a meetup anywhere. Um, it would be very casual though. Like maybe we'd go to like Starbucks or Tim Hortons since we're in Toronto. Uh, get like iced cappuccinos or something or go to the movies or something that'd be really fun actually if you could would you stay at the Stanley Hotel with me yeah of course I would definitely Cam <laughs> I would for sure <laughs> would you rather go on a ghost hunt with the ghost adventures team or with Ed and Lorraine Warren wow this is a really really hard one <sighs> that's really hard I would pick Ghost Adventures because they are just my biggest inspirations, biggest inspirations. And it would be, I would be so, oh my God, I can't even imagine if they just like tweeted me, like if Zach tweeted to me being like, yo Brit, like, I like your videos, you want to come investigate with us? <laughs> I would die. That is a dream for me. I would definitely pick Ghost Adventures. Oh my God, I couldn't even, like I would just, I. I couldn't even imagine. I would just die. <laughs> Which doll do you prefer, Harold or Robert? Definitely Robert. Robert is my second favorite doll. Annabelle's my first, but the Robert story is really scary. But Harold, I would never want to go near Harold because people like die from him, so it freaks me out. Are you a girly girl or a tomboy? I am definitely a girly girl. Pink and sparkles are like my life. But I do have an edge to me. Some days I like to be all pink and sparkly and so girly. But then a lot of the times I like to be all dark and just have really dark makeup on. You know, bright red lips and just kind of edgy. So I'm kind of both. I'm almost like split personality that way with my style. I can be very girly and just, you know, wear dresses and just really, you know what I mean? But then I'm also very, I wouldn't say gothic, but very dark. I like to be very dark sometimes. I don't know. I just have this edge to me. It's it's cool. I like my style. I really like my style. It's cool. I like mixing both like girly and like dark, edgy. <laughs> what makeup do you use to make yourself so beautiful? <laughs> Why, thank you. I get asked this a lot. My makeup. I um I love makeup so much. My favorite is Kat Von D. I love her eye palette so much her eyeshadows are the best when I went to the Harry Potter studio I was wearing green all over my eyes that was her eyeshadow it looks so much better in person if you guys saw it in person like whoa you'd be like holy crap your eyes but um in person it's just such a really pretty green and it's sparkly and it just stays on it never creases and I use her eyeshadows a lot too. Um, my favorite palette is the Saint palette. I use that all the time. At, my voice just like, I don't know what's going on with my voice today, guys. I love her eyeliner so much. I usually wear her eyeliner. I love her lipsticks. But recently I've been wearing my Star Wars mascara by CoverGirl and I am obsessed with it. It's the Star Wars Dark Side mascara, which I'm obsessed with because I feel like Kylo Ren when I wear it, even though he doesn't wear mascara, but I just feel so like bad and I like feeling bad. <laughs> When you get your own paranormal show, can I come with you and hunt for ghosts? Well, I hope I get my own paranormal show. That would be amazing. That is my dream. I've dreamt about that since I was a little girl. So, you know, I'm working for it and we will see. Those are all the questions I'm going to answer for this Q&A. So I'm not sure how I'm going to do this. Well, I said in the beginning, I think I'm going to do it like once every two months, three months, maybe once a month. It's just going to come at random, I guess, whenever the time feels right. It's just going to be at random, I think. I think it's kind of a good thing to do that. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope it was interesting. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Once again, all of my links are in the description box below. So if you want to follow me, that would be awesome. Uh, I can't really do the hashtags because I'm holding a camera. Or I'm, <laughs> I'm holding a candle. <laughs> Hashtag team Brittany44, hashtag brother friends, hi, hashtag GAC notice Brittany, and you guys rock my world with the song lyrics of Michael Jackson, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.